Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another Throwback Thursday with me, Peter, the master of Hobbit's Day, kicking back with some old school Belgian beer that I reviewed seven years ago. Uh, this is a bottle of the Dollars Arabia. So this was another beer that I got from Mess from the Belgische Hoops, the Belgian beer distribution company that distributes many other different types of beer, not just Belgium. Um, he sent me, or sent us at Bad Seed, where I work, a case of the dollar beers to try with this cool glass and revisit and i still i wanted to go through them because i reviewed a lot of these back in the day and do reviews on them because they're quite nostalgic to revisit and i was like yeah let's let's, let's do this so we're drinking aga beer today this is a one-year-old bottle they give it two years uh, at the brewery as an expiration date so drink within two years and it's an eight percent belgian strong blonde ale and let me tell you when i poured this out the head was nuts like it's not until now it's settled and you can see there's a small rocky island of foam on top of the beer here like it, you can see it has like champagne like effervescence uh, it looks like it's died a bit but it was like this amount of beer and then this amount of head and i just kept like trying to add more add more add more uh yeah Th that's how it is with some of the dollar beers some of them are so crazily ca carbonated it's like champagnes so this one uh, Abia is secondary, it's got a secondary fermentation in the bottle, and the hops, this is what I was looking for, is Nugget and WGV, which is Whitbread Goldings hops. So it's English hops and American hops, and uh, the, the, uh, the Whitbread are from Popridge, I think. So, poured in the glass a golden yellow, slightly orange color. A lot of sediment, a lot of haze, and then that's a funny little island of foam on top. I mean, look at that. You can't see it at all. But it looks it looks very nice. Like, the head on this was just nuts. But yeah, looks nice. Let's take out the aroma on Agabia for the first time in I don't know how long. Oh, that smells really nice. It's so bready. Like, it's so doughy, fluffy, bready aroma. Loads of coriander too for me. And the thing is like, so it's a year old. It's been a year in the bottle. I'm not sure if the nugget hops and the goldings at all really shine in any way, shape or form. So I'm not really, you know, it's usually like nettly, spicy kind of nuances you get from something like goldings. goldings. Maybe there's a little bit of that, but it's big time malt, big time yeast character. I'm getting lots of pear. A stewed pear, a little bit of like a sweet toffee, maybe not toffee, just like a candy sugar or something to it, even though that's not in there. And then maybe some white pepper even, but the big thing is like coriander type vibes from yeast and clove. But it's so bready. It's crazy bready. It smells really nice. It smells a lot like what I remember from from the Dolly B. It's like very aromatic and very fragrant and and... And, and powerful, but very classic Belgian aromas. But although a little bit different than like a lot of the mass produced stuff, there's even like apricot uh, or something like that, like stone fruit. Well, let's try it. Cheers and thanks to mass for the beer. Although it's been sitting in the glass for a while now, there's still a lot of CO2. This is really bitter too. What? That's really cool. That it's, oh man, I want to drink this really fresh now. <laughs> like this seems like it's a really hoppy beer. Wow, this is interesting. It, it's really leading my mind to something like um, Prasri de la Seine, Taras Bulba, and stuff like that. It's really hoppy. Like these modern Belgian beers that are really bitter and really hoppy. It's really having me think of that. It's almost like Belgian IPA, really. Like when when the Americans started doing these, uh, stoned at the oh, what's it called? Belgo something, Belgo. Oh, I can't remember. It, Bel Belgo Caddy Belgique, I think. Like a Belgian yeast in a Californian IPA or West Coast IPA. It's like it's taking me back to the days of stuff like that, or just more like you know, the continental kind of European hoppy beer as they do at, at De La Seine in, in uh, Taz Bulba and some of their other beers. They have a few quite hoppy uh, Belgian ales. 
Or the ranke. The ranke. The XX bitter. Something like that. There's nuances that reminds me of that because it's got a high bitterness. It's peppery. It's spicy. It's nettly. Uh, back end is like really bitter black pepper type flavors. But then it's also really doughy and really yeast forward with like loads of esters and then that like coriander thing. You don't really get that, I think, in in something like Taz Bulba. Taz Bulba is more of a clean beer. Uh, you know, this is still clean beer. Clean beer can mean many things. But it's just like it has a more clean yeast profile. It doesn't have as much of like an ester kind of profile going on. But that might also just be due to age and it's got secondary fermentation in the bottle. Like it will develop over time. So that could be part of it. But it's really tasty. But it's, it's really... I. I did not remember this level of bitterness. It's quite bitter. And the breadiness that was so intense on the aroma, like really fluffy breadiness is not there on the flavor. It's like all about hops, intense hoppiness, and like intense like stew kind of fruity yeasty flavors. There's definitely a bit of the stewed kind of pear stuff and also apricots or something with lots of black pepper and coriander. It's yeah, it's it's very much kind of like a Belgian IPA, really, if you think about it. It's really fucking great. I would love to try this fresh. Like, really, really fresh. Like, just, you know, at the source would probably be best. But I, I don't think I've ever had Abia fresh. I've always had it with age. I don't think I've ever had one that's, like, vibrant and fresh in the glass. But it's impressive, although it's, like, a beer they give a lot of shelf life and it's a hoppy beer and whatnot. It's, like... It's still got loads of hop flavor, but I'm just wondering, like, if this was fresher, would it be more of, like, a vibrant floral bouquet of, like, hop profile, or would it be more of that, like, fruitiness, like, uh, citrus or something, like a bit of grapefruit or something? You can sometimes get a little bit like that from, from nugget or just earthiness, uh, or it, rather than just earthiness, because there's a lot of earthiness on the back end, like, earthiness and black pepper. But it's it's really good, and it's like if you're new money and a new money beer drinker, you're gonna have this. You're gonna be like, oh, what is this? Like this is not for people who are not who hasn't been in beer for a while, because it's really bitter, it's really abrasive. Like this is this is almost the the OG Belgian version of like old school stone beer, where it's like uh, ripping your maybe not palate ripping bitter, but it's just. It's really bitter beer, but it's really good. Again, it reminds me of Delanque's uh, Triple X or Double X uh, or something like uh, Taz Bulba in terms of its bitterness, but more fruity, more uh, yeasty, and then also more full in terms of a malt body and also, of course, stronger. Mm. Really good. I gave this a 90 back in the day. I think I'll stick to that. This is a wonderful, wonderful beer. Uh, but I need to try it fresh. Maybe it's even better fresh. Who knows? But if you guys had a chance to try Alabia from the daughter, let me know what you thought of it. Thanks a ton to Mess for the beer. Really fun to revisit them with this one. We got two beers left. We got Duluceve, which is their triple. And <laughs> we got a Belgian stout as well. That would be interesting. I don't think I ever did a review on that one. Belgian stouts were never really my thing. But let's see. Maybe this one is. But if you guys already had Alabia, or if you haven't had Alabia, Go get it. But if you already had it, let me know what you thought of it. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And I'm going to say cheers and some classic Belgian beer. And see you guys in a beer review.